Hi XR developers, today I would like to show you our new makeover of the MRUK documentation. So if you go over to developers.meta.com slash horizon, you go to develop and then mixed reality. So we have this new starting page. It runs you through what MR is, the VR, AR spectrum, um, all the SDKs that are available to you for user input and interactions, immersion, spatial audio, then improved scene understanding with MRUK, but also new features like pass-through camera API and the new feature collocation discovery. And then of course we have the new MRUK docs. We have improved visuals. We also have new tutorials and new code samples. So a very frequent question is how to place things in the scene. And this is an important feedback because MRUK was especially made for improved scene understanding and making things like placing objects easier. So we have two ways of placing things. One is the new Environment Raycast API, which uses the Depth API for determining a point in the 3D space. So you can either use the Raycast method or the Placebox method, and we have a sample for both down here. And after each feature, we always give you a related sample section and link you to tutorials or GitHub samples. And the second way of placing things in your scene is to use scene understanding. So we have a Manage Scene Data section here that explains you how to get all the scene information and then in place content with scene we work with this scene information so we can either use the anchor prefab spawner we can use find spawn positions or we can just simply use the normal unity physics raycast to place things in our scene again here we need scene understanding we need the mruk component as with the environment raycast api we do not need the mruk component we literally just use the depth api um, here we have a new section called manipulate scene visuals because this is also a very frequent use case I see in the community where people want to cut out pieces of their walls or furniture. So if you don't know already, on the effect mesh we have a property called cut holes where you can just select the layer that you want to cut out. So for example, a window. Then we have a new sample called destructible global mesh, which lets you destroy the mesh and reveal pass through behind those snippets that you cut out of the wall. We have a selective pass through shader, which you can easily just apply to any mesh and then we included a new sample called Ceiling Sky Reveal that shows you how to properly remove an object from the MRUK mesh. We have a new Track Objects section, which describes the MRUK trackables. So in this case, the keyboard tracking. We included the space sharing in the MRUK docs, which allows you to create collocated experiences with your friends and share your room mesh between them. Then we have a short section about debugging your app using the scene debugger. And then lastly, we have a dedicated page for all MRUK samples. And down here we have a library of all the samples that are currently available in our GitHub repo. So I hope you like this new structure. Feel free to check it out and happy coding.